Hey ladies, welcome back. If it's your first time joining me, hey boo, I am happy to have you. I'm Ty Harris, founder of Total Love Makeover. Today we're finishing up the final part in a three-part series on helping you identify who it is you want versus what it is you want. Now, if you haven't seen the other two parts, I strongly advise that you go over there and catch those episodes, maybe even before you watch this one, so you know exactly what we're talking about. Now, those three parts include your core essentials, your non-negotiables, and today we're talking about the desirables. Now remember, the best way to figure out who it is you want to date, who it is you want to be with, is identifying who it is you are. So, your desirables, you're very familiar with them. They are your what's or your wants. I want him to be tall. I want him to be handsome. I want him to have a job. I want him to have a car. I want him to make money preferably more than me. All of these things are fine. You should have what you desire, and I hope you do. But understand that these are just wants. It's like a wish list. Where we make the mistake is thinking that our wants should trump everything else. If you look at things a little deeper than just the surface what's, you'll find that it's really not what you want that is actually the issue. L let me explain. So you say, well, phew, he gotta have a job. I want him to have a job. No, he needs to have a job, girl. Well, really? No, he doesn't need to have a job. You want him to have a job. What you need is a man who has strong work ethic, a man who's not going to sit on his behind and not work. Now, you can meet a guy and he says to you, oh, um, I'm in between jobs. At that moment, you're like, <laughs> no, mm -mm, mm -mm. he don't have no job. I'm done. I'm out of here. But don't assume you know his story. He could have got laid off three weeks ago and it wasn't his fault. It was his company's downsizing. But the who is that he has a very strong work ethic and he's out there every day grinding until he finds another job. Don't put your what above everything else so you don't get a chance to see who he is. You want him to be tall. Well, you want him to be attractive to you. So maybe if he's a couple inches taller than you, and he meets your essentials and your non-negotiables, maybe you could find it in your heart to give him a chance. This is your wish list. It's not your everything list. Your essentials come first. Your non-negotiables come second. That's the information you should be seeking to get to know, not whether or not he has a car. Don't assume you know his story. This is important. He could have gotten into a crash four days ago and totaled this vehicle. What you're really interested in is, is he self-sufficient as a man? That's the who. It ain't the car. Because he could have a car and he could pick you up in the car his mama paid the nut on. <laughs> I'm not, I'm thinking that's not what you was wanting. Always be looking for the information that fills your core essentials and your non-negotiables first. And if he happens to be the things that you want, yay! I absolutely do want you to have everything that you desire, but sometimes you may have to take a chance outside of that. I don't think that you should automatically just discount somebody because of these wants. The wants and the desirables are really the lowest on the list. When you're looking at your desirables and your wants, ask yourself if you're just looking at it from the surface level or if you're looking at it deeper. Because like I gave the example with the car. It could be his mama's vehicle. What you really wanted was somebody that was self-sufficient. What you really wanted is somebody that's attractive to you, not necessarily tall. What you really want is somebody that has a strong work ethic. So when you're identifying your desirables, look deeper at what it is that you think you want and ask yourself, am I really getting to the core of what it is I want or am I just looking at it from a surface level? All of this is gonna help you identify who it is you want. And when you know who you want, you don't settle for just anything. So remember, knowing who you want first starts with knowing who you are. And it's made up of three parts. You figure out your core essentials and you figure out your non-negotiables. And then when identifying your desirables or your wants, ask yourself if you're really getting down to the nitty gritty or if you're just still kind of wanting surface items. I hope you enjoyed this episode and this series. I want to hear all about what you thought about it. If you liked this episode and this series, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in knowing how to converse with a guy and kind of pull out whether or not he 
is eligible for you based off of these three things, then also like this video and I'll get working on that episode too. I want to know that this is helpful for you. If you'd like to share this episode or this series, I'd love it if you did. So thank you in advance for doing so. Also, make sure you jump over to TotalLoveMakeover.com and join the email list that I call the dressing room so that you're always in the TLM know. Now, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button to this YouTube channel, please do so, so that you don't miss a moment. You can have the love that you always wanted. Sometimes you have to do something different to get something different. And if you're willing to do the work, then I am more than willing to help you get there. Until next time. Your non-negotiables include six core pillars that are basically your values. Consequently, these are also things that most couples fight over and break up over the most.